Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I have another Last Night review for you. Today I'm reviewing two figures, actually. I am reviewing the Transformers The Last Night, Legion Classes, Crosshairs, and Megatron. Now, Legion Classes are very, very small figures, so I didn't see much of a point in doing individual reviews on them. And the reason I'm reviewing these is I actually sold them on, on clearance at Walmart for about $3.50 each, and to be honest, I would never pay $5 for a Legion Class, but $3.50? Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. And these are very, very small figures. For those who don't really know their size, here's an Armada Minicon, spark plug specifically, to kind of give you a good idea. And just for some more, here, you, here they're both, they are both next to uh, Titans Return, Legend, the current Legends class uh, Brawn. So you can see they are somewhere in between a, an old school Minicon and a current Legends class figure. I know Legions have been around for, Legion figures have been around for a while, but we haven't seen them as much anymore. There's not really, I don't think there's any art. There are, there were some R.A.D. ones, but not too many of them. Mainly, we've been seeing them with the movie toys, and most of them are repaints. That's another reason why I'm reviewing these two together, is because they are both new molds for Legion classes. As most of the others, the Bumblebee, the Optimus, the Grimlock, they're all repaints of other figures. Or at least slight remoldings, anyway. These are actually brand new molds. So, of course, uh, Megatron here is based on his last night sh uh, kind of spaceship appearance. And it is pretty faithful for a little tiny $5 figure. It is very faithful to that appearance. I mean, he does kind of the problem that most jet Transformers do of the kibble, of just robot kibble all underneath. But for a little Legion figure, I can forgive this. And I'll be honest, uh, this mode does kind of sacrifice a bit for his robot mode. The robot mode is clearly kind of designed first and then kind of folded up into a spaceship. But it is still very much looks like his spaceship mode. I mean, you can see the cockpit here. You can see a little Decepticon sigil there. He's got a stamp there. A lot of the details that are on the leader in Voyager are still here too, like the engine here. You can still see the intakes right here. Um, those are just his legs right there. The wings actually though, despite being a legend size figure, are actually clear. As in there's no kibble hanging off them, unlike the Voyager. And really the only kibble there is is like, okay, here's the chest plate and here's his hands just sticking off the, t the cockpit there, but Overall, pretty nice little jet mode for a tiny Legion figure. It does look, it is very fateful to how he looks in the last night. And Crosshair's here kind of has the opposite thing going on that we'll see in robot mode, but here, yeah, no sacrifices were made for this vehicle mode. This is a very sleek and nice looking Crosshair's figure. From what I understand, this is actually very accurate to how the actual car looks. I don't remember what car it was, but it is very accurate. The only thing that's really missing is the spoiler on the back. And as far as robot kibble, I mean, the only thing there is, you can see the ball joints for the arms right here on the, on the back of the vehicle. But the rest of it, definitely a very nice, sleek little car. It is very nice looking for a little $5 figure. I was surprised how nice this vehicle mode looked. Now, granted, there are sacrifices made to make this vehicle mode work, but it is a very, very good looking vehicle. I almost... I would almost say buy this figure just for this vehicle mode. Also, yeah, go... If you see this figure for 3 or $4 buy it just because this vehicle mode does look very very good now granted there isn't a lot of detailing all there really is is just the autobot stamp there some black right here the windshields are t uh, I think they're just black plastic it's hard to say just very shiny black plastic but there is a difference between it and like the hood the top of the roof here so that's pretty nice the wheels are not painted at all there's no other paint really but crosshairs does have a very simple coloration so it kind of works so yeah, both are still really good in vehicle mode, especially for the Legion figures. Crosshair definitely wins in that department, but Megatron's still pretty good. So let's get down to transformation. I will be starting with Megatron here. To start, you're just going to simply grab the uh, backs of the engines here and fold them out to form his legs. Like so. Then grab the wings and they are one piece. You fold it up like so. Then you're going to come around to here and you can basically see the robot already kind of ready to go. The cockpit here will split, but it will split right here, right next to where the Decepticon sigil is. And you'll see what I mean once it does. Uh, basically what's going to happen is this cockpit is going to go with, it is only going to go with the left side here. But it can be kind of a tight fit. As he pegs together very, very tightly. There we go. You can see right there, it pegs in right there into the other arm, as well as there's a little slot here that goes into there. But you can see this cockpit does come with the other arm here, so this arm you're just going to bring on down the double hinge and the ball joint, like so. This one, you're going to want to take the cockpit, it is on a ball joint, it's also tabbed into the side of the arm here. You're going to untab that, 
pull it out on the ball joint, flip it around to form his uh, arm cannon, and then just bring it on down. Then come to the chest here, flip it open, flip the head out from the chest, and close it up. And there you have a tiny little Last Night Megatron. And now we're going to do Crosshair's transformation. He's also pretty simple. He's actually even simpler than Megatron there. All you're going to do is take the arms, slide them out, and pop them out. Or I should say the doors, but they become the arms. Then you're going to take the back, the top of the vehicle here, and it does pop off, like so, from the bottom half of it. Bring this forward, fold the feet out, and just uh, pull the legs apart. This whole piece right here has a big, it's just one big panel that comes up on a double hinge, so that way you can actually stand his feet without dragging the front of the vehicle. Then finally come to the panel, just like Megatron, it folds down, but instead the head's back here, but it flips out all the same. Close it back up, and there you have a tiny little Legion crosshairs. And just for size comparison real quick, let me get Braun all transformed up, just so you can see how big, he is, how big these are next to a Legends class figure. Here they are next to Braun. You can see they're about two-thirds of his height. It's really kind of hard to see, but if we put Megatron and Crosshair is actually right next to him. You see, they come up to just under where his wheels are here, so they're about two-thirds of the height of a Legends class figure. But yeah, they're pretty good looking for little $5 figures. Um, I do have some complaints with both of them. Major complaint for Megatron being he needs more heels, really, because he does have heels sticking out, but they aren't very long, and even though he doesn't really have any kibble, per se, he does have some trouble standing sometimes. You can get him standing, no problem, but it does not take much to knock him over. I'm not saying Crosshairs is completely stable either, but he has a lot bigger feet. He can rock a little and still be okay. However, his problem is that he's completely kibbletastic. As Megatron here, even though he doesn't really have much for heels, his only kibble are his wings. And even then, you might not count those as kibble, because while they are inaccurate, you could just call them wings at least. Crosshairs, most of him is kibble. I mean, literally one the top, the entire top of the vehicle mode and one third of the vehicle overall is just kibble on his back right here. And even then, he still has kibble around the legs. And he still has some kibble on the shoulders, even arms a little, so. Now it is a little Legion figure, it's forgivable, but I just thought I'd warn you, he's just as kibbly as his Deluxe figure is, so. Now, as far as details go, they are both pretty nice. Uh, Crosshairs, while they aren't painted, does actually still have his goggles, and his face is painted in silver. He does get black paint for his uh, abdomen here, and he does get some on the side of his legs there as well as paint for the arms on the inside. The rest of it is done with black plastic, but it is enough to kind of break up all the green. And as far as Megatron goes, he's pretty accurate too. He has almost as much detail as his Voyager figure does, despite his size. His face, you might not be able to pick it up, but his eyes actually are painted red, which is pretty nice considering how small his face is. There's a little bit of gray for his mouth, and that gray continues down to his chest to kind of form the centerpiece of his chest there. Uh, there is a little bit of gold here and here on the other side of his arms. There is the gold here from the cockpit, and his feet are done up in gold. So not a lot of paint on him, but just enough to kind of break everything up, and the detail on him is extremely accurate to the movie as well as what the other toys look like. So for how small he is, he does actually have a lot of really nice accurate detail. Now next thing, of course, is articulation. You really can't expect much from, Le from Legion figures, Crosshairs kind of has what you would kind of expect. He has four points of articulation. He has the ball joints at the arms, which let them go outward, and then you can do a full 360 with them. Sort of. If Yeah, there you go. You can do full 360. And then he does have articulation at the hips. They're also ball jointed. Goes that far. Can't really go back at all because of the kibble. Can go that far outward. And I guess you could say six points because he does have a hinge at the ankle from transformation, which you could technically use to do like a stepping pose, but... Yeah, he's not really a holo pose, so I'm not sure if you want to count that or not. And it's weird because you can actually see there's a pin, or a screw at least, right there where his knee would be. And even on the back, you can kind of see, if you get good lighting, there's actually two separate pieces of plastic right there, making it look like he has a knee. But he doesn't. His knee doesn't move at all. The I don't know if that this leg can move and that this piece of kibble's just getting in the way or something. But, yeah, that knee's not do anything. It looks like he has a knee though. A detail, or if it's if it's not two separate pieces, they put detail there as if he has a knee. And even the screws right there for as if he has a knee. Just like how he has a pin at the ankle there. 
But nope, he just has shoulders and hips and maybe ankles, depending on how you do it. I guess you could technically say head because he can look down slightly, but what is he going to look down at? He's a Legion figure. So yeah, he kind of has exactly what you expect from a Legion class. Megatron, however, has a decent amount. Um, his arms are also ball jointed, but he also has this extra hinge to kind of work with it, so you can actually get more of a arm up here kind of thing. So you do get full rotation, you do get outward, and you do have the extra hinge if you want to use it. Uh, he is ball jointed at the hips as well. So outward, forward, uh, and he can actually go back with it, and pretty far too, I must say. And he actually has double knee joints, as that's due to transformation, but you do get a full knee that's also doubled. So you can get him, you know, down one knee, proposing someone, whoever it may be. Maybe he's trying to hook up with RC, I don't know. But you can do it. Or maybe he's doing a Broadway musical. You know, your toy, your imagination, however you think Megatron's going to do that pose, you can do it. So not a huge amount more, but just him having knees is a pretty nice accomplishment for uh, Legion figures, because most Legion figures do not have knees. And granted, it's probably because it's part of his transformation, but he can do it. So yeah, that's uh, Legion class Crosshairs and Megatron from the last night. Overall, I think they're pretty nice little figures. Yeah, they're both pretty flawed. I mean, Megatron's vehicle mode doesn't look the best, but it's still not bad. And his robot mode is pretty good for a little Legion figure. A lot of nice detail, decent amount of paint, and good articulation. And barely in kibble. Crosshairs. He has a lot of flaws of his robot mode. His articulation is limited, even though it seems like he should have more. He does not have a lot of paint either, and he is very, very pulled down with kibble. However, for one thing, even the deluxe class for this guy has a lot of kibble. It's just part of his design because of the movie. And for another thing, his vehicle mode is excellent. If they couldn't get the robot mode right, I'm glad they at least got the vehicle mode right. I'm glad they at least said, okay, let's pick one thing right. And both of these have pretty fun transformations. They both make for pretty decent little desk toys. Are they perfect? No, but for four, three or four dollars, I still would not pay the full five dollars that they were asking at retail. But if you can get them for three to four dollars, I say they are very much worth, worth picking up. So this has been Nerdy Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you have a good day. Take care.